I'm gonna share with you a weekly success action plan. This is a plan that if you follow, you can't help but win in real estate in 2021 and beyond. I'm gonna share with you in this weekly action plan exactly what to do every single day, every single week, so you never again have to wonder, okay, what do I need to be doing today to grow my business? And so if you guys have questions, put them in the question box below. And if you guys want a copy of this plan that I'm gonna walk you guys through, just send an email, just send an email to support at reverseselling.com. Support at reverseselling.com and I will make sure I get you guys a copy of this plan. So let's jump right into it. Number one tactic I'm gonna give you guys uh, before we even jump into the plan, little bonus if you will, is how to communicate with your sphere to find out who in your sphere of influence right now is thinking about moving. Here's the best part without you being salesy, without you being pushy, without you being aggressive, everybody pay close, close attention. What I want all of you to do, either today or tomorrow, is I want you to create an Instagram and Facebook story with, with uh, as a carousel. So there's gonna be two slides. There's gonna be a great picture of you, okay? And here's what the first slide is going to say. The first slide is going to say, is your job now remote? Is your job now remote? Most people, a lot of people right now, during this pandemic and this whole COVID shutdown, a lot of employers, massive employers, have now made a lot of their positions remote work at home, uh, work at home jobs. So the first thing you want to find out in the story that you're going to post on Instagram and on your Facebook, it's going to say, is your job now remote? Yes or no, okay? Then when they click next to watch the second part of your story, it's going to say, if your job is remote, are you thinking about relocating? Ding, 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 ding. It is incredible how many people now work from home remote, and because they're now working uh, from home remote, potentially indefinitely, they're thinking about relocating. They're thinking about moving altogether. It's like, wait, wait a minute. I can go work in Florida and uh, perform my duties where my employer's in New York. Great, let's move to Florida. What a great creative way for you to find out who in your sphere of influence right now is thinking about selling their home without coming off as a high pressure real estate agent, okay? That's my little bonus for today. Now, let's get into the weekly activity uh, success action plan. Number one, again, I'm gonna give you guys a copy of this plan. So if you guys want a copy of it, just email my team. Uh, and all you have to do is email support at reverseselling.com and we'll email you a copy of this template, okay? First thing you wanna do, five face-to-face -face appointments per week, okay, five. Doesn't have to be with a for sale by owner or an expired listing. I want you to have five face-to-face, eye-to-eye, belly-to-belly, meetings, lunches, coffees with people, prospects, past clients, sphere of influence, referral partners, on the success tracker that you're gonna get a copy of, you're going, there's a spot for you to fill this out. You need to have five, five days a week, you need to be meeting with somebody face to face, either a potential buyer, a potential seller, a potential referral partner or a current referral partner, a, a friend, family, somebody in your sphere of influence, past client, you need to be getting belly to belly five days a week, okay? One a day, five days a week. Next, this is huge. I've never shared this with you guys before. You want to uh, engage, engage with five local businesses on Instagram and Facebook per day, okay? So 
The action plan requires 25 uh, pieces or, or parts of action, I guess you can call it. 25 action steps, five engagements a day with local businesses. Hear me out, listen. The way that I think a lot of people understand when it comes to content creation and social media is posting on social media. Everyone gets that. Well, the best way that, that uh, most people are not talking about right now to engage on social media, to build a following, to build awareness, to get attention on social media, yes, posting's important, engagement is more important. So if you're a real estate agent, what you want to do is go into your local, uh, uh, five of your local businesses, okay? Maybe it's the local restaurant, maybe it's the local pub, maybe it's the local hotspot, the local bowling alley. Go into a local business Instagram page or a Facebook page and engage with their content. You wanna do this on five businesses a day, 25 businesses a week. So if the local restaurant, the hotspot, is posting something on their Instagram or their Facebook page, you wanna go in there, you obviously wanna like the post, and then you wanna comment something sincere, authentic, value-based, okay? And then what happens? Their entire audience says, wow, that's a great comment. Who is this person? They click your profile. Lo and behold, they find out you're a real estate agent. This is free advertising. How long is this gonna last? I don't know. Five pieces of engagement on a local business's page, Facebook, Instagram, per day, 25 per week. Next, daily, listen closely, daily Instagram and Facebook stories, okay? You don't have to create content. You have to document your day, which turns into content. Let me say that again, okay? Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V talks about this in his book all the time, crushing it. If you don't have this book, stop what you're doing, go on to Amazon, go on to wherever you need to get, uh, uh, buy your books or your audio books or your, or your physical uh, copy or where you buy your books from and get a copy of this book. Gary talks about document, don't create. This is such an easy way for you to start building content on a daily basis. So let me give you a couple tactical ideas. So if you're a real estate agent and you're gonna execute on the action plan, which I hope that you do, you're going to start making Facebook and, 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 and Instagram stories daily. And what you're gonna do is instead of trying to create something to, to say, just say, hey guys, Brandon here, I'm going to show a property downtown in the historic district. Uh, it's really, really interesting. They got multiple offers on this thing. So um, my strategy is this, that, and the other thing. Let me know if you guys need any help or you guys have any questions about the marketplace. Really simple. So as you're going through your days and you're doing real estate things, just flip your phone on and hit record. Hey, I'm going to write an offer. I'm going to show a property. I'm going to an inspection. Hey, maybe you're, you're, you're going live at a showing before your client gets there. Hey guys, look at the property I'm showing. You're showing the audience. What's the point? The point is you cannot be a secret agent. If you want your sphere of influence and you want your community to start doing business with you because you all want the same thing and I get it, you all want them to call you, right? Because you refuse to call them, I get it, that's a whole nother thing. You all want them to pick up the phone and say, hey, uh, we like to buy or sell a house and we'd like to use you. If you want that to happen, you have to start winning the top of mind awareness game. If you're gonna win that game, they need to see you in action on a daily basis. So stop creating, start documenting. All of you are doing something right now, right after this, I guarantee you, you're gonna be doing a CMA, you're gonna go schedule a showing, you're gonna be doing something. All you have to do is hit record and tell the audience what you're doing. That's all you have to do, okay? That happens once per day, five times a week, okay? So, so far, you're meeting with somebody face-to-face, -face, five times a week. You're engaging with five local business on Instagram and Facebook uh, every day. And now you're making a daily story once every single day. Next, we're talking about the weekly Facebook uh, 
uh, live, okay? The weekly Facebook Live show. What this means is what I want you to do once a week, you should do it on a Wednesday or a Thursday night, seven or 8 p.m. I want you to get in the habit, put it on your schedule because what gets scheduled gets done and every week consistently forever, don't ever stop, consistency is king. I want you to have a Facebook Live show. You're gonna go live on Facebook or and or Instagram or both, okay? And you're going to talk about tips, strategy, advice, how to navigate this real estate market. And then over time, people will start asking you questions and then your show becomes a live real estate Q&A. Now, here's the best part. You record that. It might be a 20, 30 minute weekly show where your, your, your Facebook and people that follow you on Instagram Again, we're trying to win top of, mind, uh, top of mind here, people. We're trying to pour value back into the people that we say we care about as real estate agents. If you care, you're gonna provide them value. The other great thing about the content is if you have a 20, 30 minute video, you can download that video, chop that video up into about five or 10 different pieces of micro content. Now we're repurposing the content. Use that content as future stories. You guys get it? You with me here? Hopefully that makes sense. So once a week, you're going to pick uh, one night a week and you're gonna go do an Instagram Live like this and on Facebook and you're gonna talk about a specific tip, strategy, what's happening in the marketplace, okay? If that makes sense for you guys, give me a thumbs up in the comments. Let me know if that makes sense. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Next, one referral partner happy hour per week, okay? This is a weekly success action plan. One night a week, one night a week, we are going to host a referral partner uh, uh, happy hour, okay? So you're gonna grab your divorce attorneys, your CPAs, your financial planners, your title reps, your mortgage loan officers, your insurance agents, your inspectors, your appraisers, uh, your contractors, your painters, your plumbers, your electricians, all the people you should be doing business with, referring them clients, they're referring you, right? You get it? You should be doing a, uh, a happy hour once a week that you host. You're not inviting 40 of them, you're inviting five. Every week you invite a different five. Go to your favorite local pub and host a happy hour. Buy them all one drink and get an appetizer, and this gets you an opportunity to pour into these relationships so that why? We can win, stay top of mind, and start earning referrals from the industries and the professionals that are talking to your clients and your prospects, right? The divorce attorney all day long is talking to the prospects who need to do what? Oh yeah, that's right, sell their house. So get in the habit of building relationships with divorce attorneys and start inviting them to your weekly happy hour. So one happy hour per week, per week with your referral partners. Next, um, I call it the daily 20. The daily 20 is where you're gonna make 20 actual contacts or conversations with for sale by owners, for rent by owners, um, and, and expired listings. Every day, the daily 20, five days a week, 100 contacts a week, you've gotta execute on the daily 20. You're going to make conversation, actual phone conversations. That's right, you gotta pick up the phone, have a conversation with the new for sale by owners, the new expired listings, the new for rent by owners every single day, you call the new ones, then you go backwards, you call all, all of the old ones. You wanna make sure that you hammer out your daily 20, so you're having 100 conversations per week with these three lead sources. Okay, next. Past client and SOI phone calls, five a day, 25 a week. You've got 15 to 20 minutes carved out in your day every single day to, to contact five people, five past clients or people in your sphere. Super simple phone call. Hey, it's Brandon, uh, just checking in. How's COVID affected you? How's work going? How are, kids, how are the kids doing? How's business? 
Uh, is it growing? As you, did you get crushed this year through the pandemic? Um, oh, by the way, I'd love to grab a cup of coffee with you, right? Now you're repurposing the phone call to hit your daily face-to-face -face appointment goal. Hey, let's grab a cup of coffee. Are you free more uh, Friday morning? Awesome. Let's go to Starbucks there off Main Street and we'll grab a cup of coffee. Love to get love, love to catch up. Super, super simple call. Well, Brandon, what's the point? Oh yeah, that's right. Top of mind awareness. These people aren't calling you. You've got to call them, okay? Five past clients, five center influence. You've got to make five calls to this uh, segment of the marketplace every day, 25 a week. Next, this is all being done daily and weekly, okay? I'll recap in a second. Thank you cards, two handwritten thank you cards per day. Two, need to go in the mailbox with a stamp on it, two thank you cards per day. Well, Brandon, thank you cards. What are you talking about, thank you cards? Thank you cards could be anything, okay? This could be uh, someone you met at a networking event. This could be someone that gave you a referral. This could be someone who engaged with you on social media. This could be a client. This could be a past client. This could be uh, someone who gave you a book recommendation. This could be a new uh, lender that you are dealing with. Every day, two times a day, you need to send out two handwritten thank you cards, 10 a week, 40 a month. Why? People aren't doing this anymore. People are not doing handwritten thank you cards anymore. So to your point, if you can't cold call in New York, right? And that's your question. I mean, I haven't talked, the only thing I've talked about as far as cold calling is to the for sale by owners, expires all those people. If you can't do that in New York, to Carl's question, do the handwritten thank you cards, okay? Two thank you cards a day, uh, 10 a week, 40 per month. Next, the Friday pipeline email update. Every single Friday, you've got to get an email update out to the people that you're currently working with. You cannot wait for somebody that you're dealing with to call you to say, hey, I'm just looking to get an update. If that happens, you failed, you failed on client service. You need to be proactive and you need to set up every client experience to be the same way. So you say, Mr. and Mrs. Client, you can expect to get a Friday update email from me every single Friday with exactly what the status is with your home sale or with the purchase of your new home. So you'll never have to guess what's going on. So every single Friday, you're gonna send an email out into your, uh, out to everybody that you're working with. All right, next, your goal, your goal with leads generated through all the activities that I just mentioned, your goal is to generate two leads per day, 10 leads per week, 40 leads per month. Every single day, as you're doing all of these activities and all these actions, your goal is to add two leads into your database. Two people who say, yeah, you know what? We're thinking about buying or selling a home sometime in the future. Uh, they agree to a future communication. You get their email address. You need to enter in two people every single day into your database, which is 10 a week, 40 a month, almost 500 new people into the database a year, okay? You stay in, in touch with them with, with everything I teach you. You will list and sell a lot of homes. Next. The last thing on the list is contracts. Your goal is to write one new contract per week, one new buyer offer or one new listing per week. If you do that, that will yield you about 50, 50, five zero buyer offers or listings taken per year. If 40 of those turn into closings and you ended up with 40 closed transactions, through this weekly action plan, I think that the income that that will generate is something that you would be very, very happy with. So let me recap the entire plan, okay? First thing, you've gotta get a face-to-face -face appointment every single day. You've gotta go meet with someone belly-to-belly, face-to-face every single day. You need five of those a week on the checklist that you're gonna get a copy of when you email my team, support at reverseselling.com. You are focused on meeting five people face-to-face. The who is uh, not as important as you doing it. 
You can meet with prospects, past clients, and our influence, referral partners, sphere of influence. You're getting belly to belly with five people a week. Next, daily, daily Facebook, Instagram stories, documenting your day. You need five of those per week. Next, you need to engage with five local businesses per day. Five local businesses. Engage, uh, you wanna post, you wanna like their, their post, and you wanna leave a meaningful, value-packed, value-packed uh, comment. It's not like, hey, I'm a local realtor, who needs to buy or sell a house, come follow me on Instagram. Don't do that. You're providing value, leading with contribution, the people that look at that engagement, go and check your stuff out. That's how you grow your audience. That's 25 uh, engagements per week, five a day. Next, weekly, once a week, you're going to do a Facebook, Instagram Live talking about real estate tips and strategies. Next, one referral partner happy hour per week. Pick one night, maybe you do them Monday nights, maybe you do them Tuesday nights, whenever. Invite four or five of your referral partners, buy them a drink, provide value, build a relationship, get an appetizer, and start working on those relationships. Next is your daily 20. Every single day, you're having 20 conversations with the new for sale by owners, expireds, uh, and, and for rent by owners. Next, let's keep going so I can recap this. You are calling five, five of your past client center of influence. Easy conversation, don't make it weird, provide value. Right now in the middle of winter, you could even say, hey, uh, just checking in, I work with a great HVAC company. Is the, is your, how's your furnace? Any issues with it? They're doing a special right now that you've gotta try them out, okay? That's a great way to pour back into your sphere of influence. Five of those calls per day. Next is your daily thank you cards. Two thank you cards need to go sent out per day, 10 a week. Next is your Friday pipeline update. Every single Friday, providing your, uh, your entire pipeline with an update, what's going on with their transaction, followed by the Tuesday pipeline call. So if you missed that, every Tuesday, you're calling everybody that you have under contract to provide a update through phone call. So everybody you're dealing with, all your buyers under contract, all your listings that you currently have active on the market, all your pendings, they get a phone call every Tuesday, they get an email update every Friday. You're looking to generate two leads a day and one contract a week. What are your guys' thoughts? What questions do you guys have about the weekly action plan? What was your, what, what do you like most about the plan? What did you learn? Did this provide you guys value? Put it in the comment section. Let me go to the questions now.